Yo, good night, good night, good night. Good night, everybody. We're checking Pony Ones and Cheese, you know. You know the code. You know the bangings over here, so. You understand my turn on this, yeah. Yeah, man. Good night, everybody. That checking Pony Ones and Cheese. Well, I mean, I tell you, tonight is a big, bad show we got tonight, you know. I don't want nobody moving. I don't want people to also share the life. Share the life for me, please, people. That's all we want you to do. You understand? Share the live. That's all we need you to do, people. You understand? Big up everybody who are checking upon the ones and trees. Please give the video a thumbs up. Yeah, man. So you think set up about yes. I understand. Well, um, you know, we have only put thing for top of top. We're gonna kick it off car right now. Right now. Thing them at me. The thing are going away. Big up to everybody we are checking in right now. Right now, the thing at B, not in a lie B, thing on fire B, is it B? No joke B. Yeah, man. No joke. So, here we go on, like oh, everybody checking in for the ones and trees. Good night. Hoping we have a blessed Monday night. Tonight we rolling. We have only but thing to talk about tonight. Tonight we got Paula Llewellyn end up in an accident. Tonight we have L.A. Lewis confessing that he wasn't um, a part of it after we saw him in the Guzu yard. Then we got Puff Daddy right now is in a situation where his um, one of his um, home or his home had been had been raided. You understand? So let us see what's going on with this. Yes, all right. Now people. Because everybody what are uh, checking upon the ones and trees, please share the live. You understand? You know we're doing it over here, so you know the code over here. You understand? And done. All right. So as you could see, right now, so we're gonna kick it off. Blood clot, do them. We know what's going on about here. Breaking news, the Department of Homeland Security has just confirmed to CNN that federal law enforcement agents have raided properties owned by musician and producer Sean Diddy Combs. That's what we're talking about tonight, people. The feds, them not too long, raid Puff Daddy property, raid Puff Daddy house. And we're going to break it down, we're going to dissect it. So I want you guys to share the live, give the video a thumbs up as you check in, please. You understand? Let's bring in CNN security correspondent Josh Campbell and CNN legal analyst Joey Jackson. Josh, uh, let me start with you. What do these uh, raids by federal agents in multiple locations tell you about the seriousness of this investigation? Yeah, Wolf, a very significant development here, seeing this law enforcement action taking place. I'll uh, point out, just to be clear at the outset, we don't know that Sean Diddy Combs himself is the subject or target of a federal investigation. So it's just worth pointing that out at this hour. But what we do know is that two properties associated with him, uh, we saw the feds descend on those properties. We saw an aerial footage, uh, federal agents, both here in the Los Angeles area, as well as in uh, Miami at those residences. Now, the Department of Homeland Security, their uh, what's called H. HSI, Homeland Security Investigations, gave CNN a statement. I'll read you part of that when asked uh, about what this activity is. They say that earlier today, HSI New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. That is it, confirming that they are conducting what they're, they're deeming law enforcement action, which could uh, indicate uh, search warrants being conducted there, uh, could indicate arrests being conducted. We just don't know at this hour specifically specifically what that law enforcement action is. It is worth pointing out, though, that Combs himself obviously has faced uh, significant legal woes in recent months. I'll give you just a, a kind of a high, the highlights of what uh, actually occurred. Uh, in November, he was sued for rape and abuse by a former partner. That, settle, uh, that lawsuit was then settled. I don't know if you guys know what's been going on with Puff Daddy. I don't know if you guys are abreast with what's been going on with Puff Daddy, but you know um, Puff Daddy has been sued for over 50, about the 50 million, yes, from one of his chicks, one of his girlfriend, go by the name of Young Miami, yes. So they're using all of this. And since that sued happened with Puff Daddy, um, multiple women came out, even men, 
Jesus Christ. Even men, male came out and said, yo, there was abuse, you know, sexual abuse by Puff Daddy. So I think they finally, because a lot of persons was wondering why they are not conducting an um, investigation on Puff Daddy and these allegations that is coming to him. You know what I mean? But like, 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 you know, like we always know now. Whatever got up and got to happen. And like they was just building up evidence until they got the right time to read. Or is either Puffy was putting up some kind of defense, make um they didn't get a chance to raid his house or search his property, and eventually they got it. So yeah, man, right now we got it right here over here on FF Vibes TV. So big up everybody we're checking in. Please give the video a thumbs up as you forward. So very quickly, but in December, he faced sexual assault allegations in a complaint filed in the Southern District of New York. The suit was brought by a woman referred to as Jane Doe, who said that uh, she was 17 at the time when these allegations uh, took place. And back in wow. 2003, uh, he was accused of sex trafficking and gang rape, among other allegations. Also in that suit name. I ain't going to tell no lie, though. I know this shit was coming, bro. I know this shit was coming. Straight up. I'm not telling no lie. I know definitely this was coming, bro. Straight up. And from one person give you a suit like when Bill Cosby got, you know what I mean? He got locked up by one person. Then you see multiple ladies, multiple people start coming out one by one, one by one. And it's something whereby, you know, when somebody get away with something or feel they're too powerful, they continue to do it and do it and do it. So it's left like a book with pages. So obviously if one page come, come out of that book, and got and get revealed all of the recipes them i got get revealed straight naming two of his associates of course combs denied any wrongdoing there and then just last month a former employee of combs filed a suit also uh, in the state of new york accusing him of sexual assault of sexual harassment and quote grooming that former employee stated that he had worked for combs between 2022 and 2023 among those allegations this former employee a male employee said that combs did not compensate him for his music production work and forced him to procure and interact with sex workers threatened him with serving alcoholic beverages laced with drugs to guests at parties at combs home and then uh, combs uh, son sean justin combs or uh, his son justin combs was also also accused of soliciting prostitutes and underage girls at his father's homes again the combs have denied any wrongdoing but just a series of allegations that we've seen taking place you know so you know if the father got it going on right if the father got it going on definitely the son gotta get it <laughs> The son is going to need some cutting that shit. Yeah, man. The son is going to need some cutting that. Got the son is going to see the father go on with a bag of things and now said that he ever go and link the girls. Them and I, is it? Yeah, man. And the father know him have money. So you don't know what's up. The father definitely is going to spend money on the little girls, them and all kind of things. Because, yo, it's crazy, though. It's crazy. People check in right now. Check in. Puff Daddy. We got it live right now, right here over here, man. We got a lot of things to talk about tonight, definitely. You don't want to miss the show. The show is well packed tonight. Let's continue. Final point, Wolf, I'll note is that while we don't know the specific allegations or why the feds are at these residences, it is worth pointing out the agency that is conducting this law enforcement activity. It's not the FBI. It's not the DEA or the ATF. This is HSI, Homeland Security Investigations. For those unfamiliar, this is an agency that has long been the forefront specifically at human trafficking investigations. So although we don't have the specifics yet, uh, we're starting to, to you know, we, we can glean just based on which agency has the lead the direction this might go uh, but again we don't yet know that combs himself was the target of the investigation well we do know that at the, this hour that federal agents were at two of his homes both here in los angeles and in florida wolf yeah important points and joey jackson now let me repeat we don't know if sean diddy combs himself is under investigation but clearly joey it's not good if your homes are actually being raided no, it's not, Wolf. And I think, uh, you know, we, whatever conclusions can be drawn remain to be seen, right? There's not an indictment that we're talking about. That means that we're not speaking of a grand jury having rendered a conclusion, not as to guilt, that's not what grand jurors do, but as to reason to believe that a crime was committed and he committed them. Having said that, whenever you have a raid and an investigation, these things need to be really predicated upon, right, the precursor for this to happen would be some probable cause. Uh, what is that probable cause? We don't know. But let's go back to what Josh Campbell talked about, which are those various lawsuits. Now, lawsuits are civil actions in nature. They're not criminal at all. 
But what they do is they give authorities some guidelines and guideposts with respect to alleged conduct that was engaged in with regard to who it was engaged in, what activities there were, what it involved. And so that, if there's an investigation, could serve as a source of plentiful information. That information could be further investigated, right, by certainly uh, the, this Homeland Security Agency. And as a result of that, they can work with their local law enforcement partners. What does that mean? It means that they, collectively law enforcement, try to determine whether there's reason to believe that crimes were committed and, you know, were those crimes carried out uh, and associated in any way we don't know. Uh, you know, with Sean Combs. And so that remains to be seen. But before authorities will can get into the home or property of anyone, you have to establish some some firm basis to do that. And that is what at least we can conclude, that they had reason to believe that there were crimes involving sex trafficking, apparently, and that these areas potentially can give more information with respect to the specifics. And I think they would be looking for computer devices and other devices, which would seem to indicate or give information as to whether there was any criminality very early in the process. But certainly we know that these have been carried out and we'll see what, if any, information is gleaned to be suggestive of any criminality. Very interesting. Josh, let me get back to you. You know the FBI very well. Under what circumstances would raids like these be conducted? Well, this would require, if it is indeed a search that's being conducted, it would require federal officers, in this case with Homeland Security Investigations, going to a judge and seeking a warrant, indicating that we believe uh, that evidence of a uh, crime or, uh, could be located in these residences. And then this third party, an independent judge, has to uh, approve that warrant. And then you see take place what's happening now on our screen. I particularly want to focus on, you see that uh, large uh, RV-looking vehicle there. This is the, the mobile command post that federal agencies will send whenever they're going to be somewhere, uh, likely for a long time. I mean, if you look at these residences, we're talking about very large estates. And so, as Joey was mentioning, something as simple as a thumb drive or uh, anywhere where uh, electronic media could be stored, if it's on that warrant, authorities can search that residence top to bottom looking for any type of device, any type of storage uh, mechanism that fits within the four corners of that search warrant. Now, again, I'll, again, I'll caution, we don't know specifically why they were there, uh, uh, it does tell us, I think, that you know, just because you see that large posture of all of these federal uh, vehicles that are there, including this mobile command post, this was uh, likely not something as simple as an arrest where you show up and you 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 know find a person that you're seeking, uh, but likely more along the lines of a search warrant, which falls in line with what HSI told us in that statement when they say law enforcement actions. Uh, that's you know something that we often hear from federal agents as a euphemism for uh, conducting some type of search. Uh, but again, both of these residences, both where I am, am here in LA, it's just a few miles here uh, from the CNN LA bureau where this search is taking place. Also in Miami, you see this large cadre of federal agencies. Uh, the sending on those homes. Again, the big question now, what are they looking for? We're waiting for specifics on that uh, as this uh, search continues. And Joey, uh, video shows also shows heavily armed agents entering Diddy's home. That's the crazy shit. You know, that's the crazy shit that I'm talking about, bro. Like, that's some, that, that's the crazy shit, bro. It's like, you would have swear that Puff Daddy is some fucking nigga that has guns or something like that he being charged with guns or he being um a per persons came forth and um spoke about they seeing guns and murders and these kind of thing how these guys came for puff daddy you know what i mean bugger bugger officers with beer gun beer beer things swat team and all them something to them man <laughs> oh, what the bomb? yo me, me, me tell you this Baron don't play when them coming for you bro could have be what one man, one fucking man, I know, a one man alone, one man alone. All of these, all of them police they come for. All of those cops came for that one man alone, Puffy. Him not have no big crew, him not have no big gang, just him alone. You're making joke when Babylon come for you, dog. Don't play with Babylon, dog. How unusual is that? I got six persons in the place right now. Got to say goodnight to those persons that check in. Big up everybody. Feel free to drop your comments about what's going on right now with Puff Daddy. You know the vibe is already. And please feel free to give the video a thumbs up so it could work with the algorithm so more persons could join the live. Thank you very much, my gang. 
So it's not unusual. I mean, I think that what law enforcement does is certainly they want to be protective of themselves, uh, potentially to deter any type of uh, activity that could occur of a criminal variety. Not that there would be any, but you never know. And so as a result of that, once they are armed, not only armed literally, but armed with respect to a warrant, uh, you know, that would suggest that they have reason to be there, that there's criminality that would be afoot. Potentially, they go, law enforcement does, and they make sure that the area is secure such that they can get any information from that warrant so that they can continue to investigate. Very important to note, Wolf, that these are investigative stages. Warrants are typical in any type of investigation, right? This is the United States of America. Everyone has rights. But you don't get into someone's home without establishing that there may be some what we call indicia of criminality. They now, law enforcement, will evaluate whatever they find in connection with this search. And if that search bears fruit with respect to any potential criminality on any computer devices, any cell phone devices, any you know th- thumb drives or anything else, then they will connect the dots. And if it's appropriate, they'll move to the next level. And that could lead to something more serious. Again, all speculation at this point. But we know now that they certainly had enough information to be in California and Miami. What stems from that remains to be seen. All right, Joey Jackson, Josh Campbell, to both of you, thank you very, very much. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Judge of God. God of God. People definitely, man, shout out to everybody who check in right now on the panel. Shout out to everybody who check in on the panel. Please share the live. Please give the video a thumbs up. Share the live. Puff Daddy Mansion has been raided. You know the code. You know what's up. We're bringing it live to you guys. Drop those comments. Please drop those comments. You know the vibe is already over here, so. Why don't you own commercial real estate? Yes, you. Why don't you own? Please share the live. You can kick it off with Puffy first, and then you don't know where I'm going. We can deal with anybody else. You see me? Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody that is checking in right now on the panel. Like I said, give the video a share. Give the video a thumbs up. Tag a friend, invite a friend. Let's go. A story we're following, and of course, we're trying to gather more and more information about it here on Live Now from Fox as Diddy's home in Los Angeles has been raided by uh, Homeland Security. Of course, we're learning more information. I do want to take you back out here before we get out to our Fox 11 team in their coverage because some of this video is very dramatic and we don't know a ton of information right now about this here on live and now from fox of course breaking news of this uh, as you can see potentially law enforcement officials and other officials just outside of a gate this on a street uh near the beverly hills area of course we're following it very closely on live now from fox and of course we're watching this we didn't know exactly what definitely show to everybody we're checking in for the ones and trees you know it already yeah, man. What we were seeing at the time. So this is just a little bit ago as they, you can see a crowbar to get through this gate initially as well. The long guns and a multitude of people, as you'll see, they'll zoom out a little bit. Just to see. Look how much, pe- look how much officers. This is what I'm talking about, bro. So much officer, so much channel star. You all saw a team out for Puffy, bro, guy. The man heavy be, man bad. <laughs> but this is what I'm talking about, bro. It's like it's crazy because now speculation, allegation, and um, assumptions being mentioning about Puff Daddy and his freaky side. Things being going down at his places. Multiple people has been coming out and talk about Puff Daddy, and you know what I mean, having sex with men, having sex with females. Um, have females sexy with females, men sexy with men. It's a whole shenanigans of things, you understand? And since his girlfriend, cast for those persons who don't know, um, Young Miami, yes, Young Miami is his girlfriend or his ex-girlfriend. And definitely, she definitely um, witnessed some things also that was disturbing. And you know what I mean? She didn't really like it. So, you know, um, you know, um, she is the daughter of... Um, the boxer, yeah, the the the, the, the head. I, I don't, I can't remember which way to in, but Floyd might uh, me weather, yeah. Floyd me weather is her father. Yes, young Miami. She's a um R and B singer. She was with Puff Daddy. You understand? So you don't know the thing already. You understand? 
Yes, she uh, made a lawsuit, a, su a lawsuit against Puff Daddy after what she been through, went through with him and all these things. She says she had to sleep with multiple men and all sorts of things. You understand? So it's crazy because to me, I know Puffy like boys. Most times when you're hearing certain allegations and certain um, alleged stuff about Puffy is men. He got naked men in his yard. He's sleeping with men. Usher came out, you know what I mean? People spoke about Usher. Usher came out, um, Justin Beaver. You know what I mean? 50 Cent even talked about it. One time he tried to carry 50 Cent on a shopping spree. And, you know, 50 Cent is from the ghetto. 50, 50 Cent said, yo, nigga, we don't play them games. You know what I mean? We don't play those games. At all, we don't play those games. You understand? So multiple persons came out and spoke about this. But it seems like no action was taken until now. You understand? Until now, action has been taken. And we could see clearly what's going on. You understand? But we got a lot of details to share with you as we get more investigate and uh, more information with what's going on. You know the value. The force they are using. Please share the life, people. To get inside this home. And of course, the complex in which this home sits is a very expansive one for the American rapper and producer. You can see them checking inside of a vehicle. We don't know exactly what is involved, if Diddy's even there. We don't know a ton of information about this at all, but this was dramatic video coming in of the Los Angeles home there, raided by Homeland Security. Some of those images there on the backs of them. We also saw uh, other images. I want to uh, kind of quickly move to what else we saw as people were led away, potentially in custody. Don't know who these individuals are, if they're related to Diddy in any way, but you can see them, a dramatic video from our Sky Fox team there in Los Angeles as we continue. Look like they got somebody, I don't know if these persons are persons that is working with Diddy. Yeah, but it looked like they got a, they got a, they got a um, fellow there. They need to come cover this and our fox 11 team is there on the ground right now as we speak let's take you out to some of their coverage here as we follow this developing story out of los angeles one of my students landed multiple six-figure jobs in cyber security within just 90 days and then detain those three people inside. We haven't seen any signs of P. Diddy himself. Again, we're hearing that he is possibly in New York, uh, but several people inside the home that uh, will surely be questioned. Uh, very chaotic scene when all of this happened. Uh, lots of, um, of neighbors wondering what's going on, of course, and uh, we'll keep you updated. But it's definitely going to be quite a scene here for the remainder of the day. Yeah, when you see this number of law enforcement agencies coming together, making this this type of raid to such a big high profile mansion like this in a neighborhood like this as well. This is very thought out, methodical, planned out for days. So they base this on a number of information gathering that they've received and evidence or what they're looking for. So clearly this is not something they do lightly. They really go th through the process of making sure that everything is ready before they conduct a raid like this. So yes, this took a lot of planning for all these multiple agencies to come together to actually now conduct a type of raid like this as you're seeing right now with this street also uh, shut down for the time being because Haley you could see the perimeter has been set up in that neighborhood to keep just the public back from the work that's being done and there you have the shot from Sky Fox again these heavily armed vehicles right next to all those luxury cars you already see a Porsche a G-Wagon so many luxury cars right there on that property so it is a very differing uh, juxtaposition there of, of what you're seeing but look at this mansion here in Holmby Hills where the raid is taking place again we don't know what exactly exactly they're looking for who they're looking for but again this investigation involving rapper sean combs the music executive but as you heard from Haley right there she believes and she's been hearing that we do not think that yep yep sex trafficking bumble clad you know so it not look good for puffy right now it not look good for puffy look like puffy is going down bro look like puffy is going now we got eight persons up in the building can you give the video some likes can you give the like the, the live some likes please i'm asking you i'm begging you guys please that sean combs is on that property at home right now he may be in new york as this raid is being conducted but 
we do know from our reporting that over the course of the year already, just as early as uh, March this year, there have been several lawsuits filed against Sean Combs. So clearly this could be part of it. We are not sure seven at lawsuits. this point. But again, Stu... Seven lawsuits, not one or two, seven lawsuits has been filed. Those one have to be filed. From one woman come out and say, yo, you raped her or you did whatever you did consider as rape to this female. That's all, especially if you got, if you got all that money. It's like when, it's like if, okay, it's like a, it's a situation like this. You broke, but you got, but you got, you got what, but 10 baby mother. You might know about three baby mother, but you don't know the seven more. You understand? You might know about three, but you don't know about the seven because everybody don't know, so you're broke youth. You know, you have your little thing, but you know, you don't have no big money for mine, no big set of churn and all them something there. Say, so boom, you go win the lotto now. Soon as you go win the lotto and you put your name in the papers or you let them know who, you understand? Soon as that, all the, all the seven baby mothers then pop up and you'll and you be like, what the fuck? Where the fuck are these seven? Where these where, where the seven? Where these seven baby mothers came from? What's really going on? It's, it's a situation like that. From one person, give Puffy a lawsuit from his girlfriend. You understand? Sue him. His beer sue after that. I tell you, sue till him gets screw. <laughs> If you could hear me, what are you seeing right now in terms of uh, your point of view? Well, again, you saw some of those uh, officers right there at that one of the back houses. They did bring a ladder in. They were they they actually went out and brought that ladder into that property. You see it right there, and then they brought another ladder. So there's probably something inside this building right here that they are very curious about, or they were like you said, it was very well planned. They knew they were going to need that ladder to make access. So the, there's something inside this pr piece of property in the back, as one of the back houses that they have been very interested in getting at we haven't seen them bring anything out at one point there's there I, I can say and when i keep saying that we didn't see them bring anything out the, the, we did see them bring out what looked like a big uh, plastic bin but i don't know if that was something that they had brought in with them as far as possible tools that they needed but that was the only thing that was seemed to be out of the ordinary and that did come out of that back house that we just showed you this is that front area that you we were just talking about moments ago we watched as those bearcats made their way up mapleton to make the to actually do this raid and then uh, we watched as officers were getting through one of the pedestrian gates there over here on this side of the property once they had breached that well then they opened those gates up right there and those uh, armored vehicles rolled in they were very quick in whatever they needed to do to seize that home uh, that garage door went up very quickly and it doesn't seem to be actually a garage inside there We've been trying to peek in with the camera every now and then. It looks like there's a large table inside there. So that might have been an office area or some sort of staging area. And that's where we believe that most of the people that we see in custody came from. At least that's where we watched them exit this building with the officers early on when this raid was just starting. As it stands right now, you've got plenty of these armored uh, uh, law enforcement still walking the property. You see, uh, see them walking in pairs. A lot less of those weapons out so they are less on the uh, defensive as it would be and uh, you can see them just kind of making their way th through that property but I can tell you every home that's on here meaning there's three major homes this one right here there's a couple of officers still inside there we know at least one officer is still inside here so there they're still standing guard so that whatever it is that they're doing this isn't over by any means and I think this is probably just getting underway they just want to make sure that all these buildings are secure and if there is anybody on this property that they are in custody before they actually start whatever it is that they're looking for but again as you mentioned very well planned very uh, quickly executed and of course a number of officers out here i couldn't even venture to say how many of these armored officers that are on the property you can see them right there and this is just a small group 
that was also one of the things as soon as they made their way into that pedestrian gate the first thing they did was open up all those doors on that range rover and then made their way into this portion of the home and that's that garage that we've been talking about that garage door went up very quickly and at, of all the people that we've seen come out of the building that's where they all came from they walked them out put them in this little corner right here and that's where they've been questioning them ever since another ladder as you were that's a lot of people man Shit, it's gonna be like the butler the cleaner the man that wash the car the man that do the liquor gardening making you're making joke when your bumbo clot i work for <laughs> i work for a man like that when the feds come everybody get locked up dog all the blood clot dog everybody getting locked up bro even the dog getting locked up bro straight up but this shit is crazy right now this shit locked down the whole fucking place bro it's like how the fuck did puff that <laughs> not how the fuck is like i'm surprised because i thought nothing would have never come out of it i'm saying to myself nothing would have never come out of it you know what i mean and you know if these things is true whatever law they have against it you know what i mean so be it whatever law they have so be it you understand because it's wrong you understand whenever you check it out i wrong it's wrong sitting there i'm not telling you lie you understand so right now puffy it's not looking good on puffy side don't look good from puffy side We're mentioning straight up a couple of ladders on site as part of this raid i don't know what they're looking for or where they're trying to reach but uh, yeah we did see somebody carrying a ladder the second one one on the property right now it does seem like there are three different buildings on this property the main mansion and then two guest houses for lack of better uh, knowledge in terms of what they are exactly used for but yes two smaller type houses on the lot as well and of course the pool right there in the middle with the grass uh, lawn so clearly uh yeah this is going to take time and that is why probably there are so many personnel on site to go through everything and do the search that they are conducting we again don't know a lot of information in terms of so what, what evidence, evidence they're, they're trying, trying to collect, collect who they're, they're looking, looking for or why they made the raid to begin with with. Again, Again, this, this could, could possibly, possibly be uh, involving the sex, sex trafficking investigation. And uh, uh, again, when, when we, we get, get more details, details of, of course, course we'll, we'll bring it to you. you. But, but uh, this, this is going to be a while. You see the Department of Homeland Security officers right there in that, that bear cat. cat. You, know, you know, this, this could, could be phase, phase two of what to do. Yeah, yeah big up, bad boy, killer. No, no, no now what, what they're, they're searching, searching for and, and making, making sure, sure they have all their information they need when they, they conduct a raid like, like this and go through the process of going, going through, through that property it is a big, big mansion indeed owned by bad boy, bad boy films and one, one of sean holmes's children so, so again uh, this, this happening just about 20 minutes, minutes ago at this point we, we do have video, video from, from earlier, earlier if, if we could, could show you that, that we have been showing some of that to you in a bigger box. box i want to say good night to everybody we're checking right now please give the video a thumbs up you know the vibe is already over here see, see me um as a, a, a juxtaposed to, to the, the live pictures, pictures you're seeing right, right now, now but uh, when, when they made entry it was very methodical and they, they did have many, many different law enforcement officials here as a unified operation and uh, a lot, lot of them making sure that those entry points are secure and they're, and they're able to make entry all together with, with a very very little use of force so, so um, clearly it is a it, it is a process whenever you conduct a raid, raid like this, this. So, so again we do have Haley Haley Winslow, Winslow on, on the ground, ground as well. well. She, she is pushed, pushed back, back to a certain, certain perimeter, perimeter though, so, so they're, they're very differing vantage points, points that, that we can see. see. But, but if we do look, look at, at the ground shot, shot there, you see law enforcement on the ground there as well. well. Haley, Haley uh, uh, anything, anything changing, changing where you are, you're, you're at right, right now? now. Just, just a lot, lot more people, people showing up on scene. scene. It's, it's been pretty, pretty hectic out here. Yeah, this all unfolded about 25 minutes ago, and I apologize that you couldn't hear me clearly, clearly earlier. It's very, very loud, loud, especially we've got, of course, Guy Fox showing you all of this from overhead. But, but basically, it all started about 25 minutes ago. 30 or so law enforcement vehicles that were from the Department of Homeland Security, LASD, of course, LAPD assisting in this as well. And they pulled up to this home that's registered to Bad Boy Films, part of that. Boy Entertainment, Entertainment, one of uh, uh, P. Diddy's
companies, and uh, the Holmes also registered to one of his daughters, so they basically all got out of the three bear cats. They went in, they were obviously armed, they pulled a few people out as uh, Stu was telling you up in Sky Fox, um, but we're hearing that Pete and Denny may not even be here, we of course haven't seen him, uh, we understand he may have flown on a private jet to New York, which I'm sure kind of threw off their plan, although this was very strategically organized, so I would assume by now, uh, whether he is in New York or not, that he is uh, likely in custody if he is involved in this, uh, but again, we are hearing that this this is involving P. Diddy and sex trafficking charges, to what extent or with what details, we don't yet know, but of course, we will be on top of this all day. It's been, uh, it was pretty hectic when we all rolled in, we were kind of right behind the line of law enforcement vehicles uh, as this was all unfolding, and uh, we're sent obviously behind the crime scene tape here in Holmby Hills. This is off Mapleton, Mapleton Drive here in the 200 block, uh, where they we are in front, front of this home uh, that involves P. Diddy, and we'll, of course, bring you the latest, latest as soon as we get it. it. Uh, it's a very, very active scene. scene. You can see the officers actually right, right now. This is uh, law enforcement officers from the Department, from the Department of Homeland Security, Security coming out. Right, right now, they're actually walking, walking down the street, street in uniform. You see, you see them right now, uh, Sandra. I do. Right down the road. Yes, yes, from, from your vantage point, point, do you see them holding anything? Are they taking out any information? I can't really tell from where I am. Tony, can you see... Just, yeah, man, they're not getting nothing as it, man. Puffy is definitely not there. Puffy is definitely not there. And a man of Puffy um, status, we make it clear, a man of Puffy status, if they're going to gonna have an investigation, at, uh, of course, Puffy have inside informers that is working in there that is going to say, yo, Puffy, here we go at. Uh, big investigation come your way. Make sure you're doing the home. Make your move. Go somewhere else. Beat out. Call them catch you. You don't know. Lock up you get in. You don't know. Say arrest you. Yeah, they're they're going to arrest you. Definitely they're going to arrest you. So you have to make a move. So you know. So them, they, they, they did the raid. But Puffy is not there. Mm -hmm. Puffy is not there. Now. This is this is the old fucked up shit, you know. This is the old fucked up shit about the situation. You understand? I be a fucker them up on that. No joke. Be a fucker. Just brought out, out their law enforcement, enforcement drone. drone. But God don't sleep. Remember, God don't sleep. <laughs> Soon continue with the rest of the topic, man. You know the vibe is already. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, Tony, I'm going to our photographer. He's zoomed in a little bit better, so he's got a little bit better view. But yeah, it looks like it's a third drone. Okay, we are hearing from TMZ at this point that P. Diddy, Sean Combs, home in Miami, is being raided as well. Again, TMZ reporting that his home in Miami is reportedly being raided right now as well. So, so wait. A two. Bumbo clad. Oh, what is Bumbo? A two house getting read, bro. A two house getting read. PD LA Miami. Bumbo clad. So this is our next judge of God. So it's two. They're reading all of his property to see if they got him. You understand? They're raiding every one of his prop. I thought it was just one property they raided. I don't know if this is the same property. You understand? But this is in LA. Clearly, Clearly a link. In, in all, all of this, this but as, as uh, far as more, more information in terms, in terms of what they're looking for, why this raid is being conducted, conducted still. More, more, uh, more questions and answers at this point. We're, we're looking for answers. answers. Uh, and, and more questions. So, so we're, we're hoping, hoping to get, get more of, of that. that. Hey, story we're following. <laughs> That's crazy. So basically, all know they're not find Puffy. All know they haven't got no um information on where Puffy really is at this said moment. You understand? So you don't know the thing go already. You understand? Yeah. Puffy. It looks sticky on your ends right now. It definitely 
look sticky on your ends. You understand? But I heard that the young female, let me see if I could find her. I understand. Why don't I say Puff Daddy Jet is definitely somewhere, you understand? Look like Puff Daddy's on the move. You understand? No joke. Go <laughs> to everybody will check in. Big up to everybody that check in, definitely. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please give the video a thumbs up. You understand? That's what we're talking about. You understand? Right now, everybody talking about Puff Daddy, and it's crazy, bro. It's it's no joke. You understand? It's no joke. Right now, Puff Daddy, it's looking stick, sticky on Puff Daddy ends, and we don't know. We, we don't really know what's going on, bro. Straight. We don't know what's going on. But big up everybody that want to check in. You know the vibe. You know the code. You know how we're doing it over here. So we soon um, head over to the rest of the topic. Let's get one more showdown with what's really going on with um, Pop Daddy. And then we out of here with something else. Yeah, I want to say things set up about here, man. Uh, bag of topic we have now. And a play, play topic. Okay. Shout out to everybody that check in, man. You know the vibe already. Please share the live. Puff Daddy Home is being raided right now. Or has been raided. You know the code already. Big up everybody that check in. There, there was, was legal, legal issues. issues. Cows, or maybe the night vision goggles, all the, the whole, the, the, the whole, whole thing. thing. Drones, Drones were, were flying, flying and, and uh, they, they made, made their way into this piece of property that you see right there. there. Now, early, early on, uh, they, they took what uh, uh, we, we counted six people out of the home, home out of. Out of, out of this, this property. property. Now, there's, there's actually three buildings here. here. You've got, got the main house right there. Then you've, you've got, got this other one that I would almost call a back house or maybe the pool house or, or guest house. house. And then, then you have a smaller one that's, that's actually behind, behind some trees right over there. I would almost venture to say that that, that one, again, I don't know. You know, who knows what they're using it for? I'm just venturing to guess. But you have another residence over here with a hot tub in the back. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's, that's actually on somebody that's living on site that's a caretaker. caretaker. I, don't I don't know. But, but uh, they got in and uh, almost, almost right, right out the box, they got six, six people in custody. custody. All, All those people actually came out of, of not, the, not, not, not the Range Rover, not, not the Range Rover. That's the first thing they did. They opened, they opened up that gate, got, got in there, and they popped the doors on the Range Rover. They came out of there. They came out of there. Um, I, I, I don't know why. I don't. I, don't, I, I, know, I know it's a garage. garage. I, I have no information. I'm just talking about what we saw when, when we got, got here. And one by one, uh, they, they took them, and everybody, everybody got cuffs, cuffs to begin with, with and then, then they, they started, started taking off the cuffs, and some were still cuffed. But, but arrested, arrested, I wouldn't, wouldn't use those, those word, that word. I would say in custody. They had them over here. They were talking to them. Uh, uh, take pictures, pictures of, of them, them just talking, and, and then, then they put, put them all in a vehicle, and they have left, since left, left the scene. Now, now I don't know who they, they were. Uh, I can tell, tell you, probably if it would have been Sean Combs, Combs believe me, we, we would know that. that. Don't, don't know who those uh, folks were, caretakers, caretakers uh, uh, property management, who knows? I, I honestly could, could be the pool guy, for all I know. 
But, but at, at any rate, we saw that happening earlier on. What's, What's going, going on right now? now? Well, a number of those armored guys are still inside this uh, home that you see here, the main building. And I got, I got you on the IV there, there if, if you're hollering at me. Um, and uh, it, it, so, so they, they made their, their way in there. And it was one, one of those things, things that's like to talk about it on television is, is, is a little different than on the internet. One, one of the main concerns for law enforcement is in a, in a situation like this. So let's say somebody's, in, somebody's on that property. You know, who knows who this person is? But, but they see armed people coming in through the gates. They don't, they don't have any idea, idea what's going, going on. They don't, they don't know, know that's law enforcement. enforcement. They, they don't know that the, for all they know, they could be robbers. And so, so, they, so, so somebody could be hiding in, in one, one of these rooms inside, inside here. here. And, and that, that person, person also could possibly be armed. So, so that's, that's kind of one of the reasons, reasons what's taking so long. They, they, they have, have to secure the building Yo, is what I'm saying. That place is huge, bro. That place is huge. This is something I always want to know. These niggas has got a got so big ass fucking crib, bro. But I, I, I guess when you're rich, this is this is the type of house you gotta get when you're rich, straight up. But it's not looking nice on Puffy. They're gonna get up. They're gonna get to Puffy. Don't matter how much he run, they're gonna get his ass. I swear, they are going to get Puffy. Don't matter how much he ran. I swear, bro. Please give the video a thumbs up, man. I got 17 people up in the building. Please give the video a thumbs up. I'm asking you. I'm begging you, man. You know the vibe already. We got more things to get in, but we're just clearing out with a puffy, and then you don't know we can't do the rest of the vibe, all right? don't want to have investigators doing, doing their investigation in like four, four hours, hours from now, now and have, have somebody, somebody kick open, open a door, door with a gun and start, start bring, you, know, you know, like, who, who are, are you guys? guys? Pop, 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 pop. You don't, you know, you, it, and, and it sounds like, like I'm poking, poking fun, fun at it. it. But, but really, really, truly, that, that is the scenario that they're, they're trying to, needing to avoid. So that, so that was one of the reasons why, why it, it is taking... That, that's the same thing I'm saying, bro. It's like, it's like, how the fuck so much officers have to go for one person? Literally, one officer or a SWAT team... Um, let me, don't let me say a SWAT team. What am I saying? You understand? One vehicle or even two vehicles. Could roll up cars. One vehicle got two persons. You're like four, four officers could roll up, literally, and try to get inside and try to get Puff Daddy and let him know. Say, yo, there's a warrant out for your arrest. You got to come in with us now. So forth, so forth. Now this here is like blowing out the fucking proportion right now, bro. Because all of these niggas, bro, this is like, this is a whole SWAT team. Came for Puffy right here, bro. And for what? Sex trafficking. So you literally, you think Puffy's going to have um, bodies at his house, even if Puffy is doing sex trafficking. Because that is what he is definitely getting locked up for. Um, definitely, I was on Source on um, NBC News. And I see here three women and a man have been investigated by federal officer. You understand? Or sorry, say federal official. You understand? In a manifestation of relation to allegation of sexual trafficking, sexual assault. And disturbance of illegal narcotics and firearm. You understand? So these are all the stuff. So I guess that's why these guys came like came like how they came. Because this is what NBC News got on their page right now. Three women and a man. One of the women was his ex-girlfriend. She go by the name of Young Miami, the hip-hop artist. You guys are supposed to know about her. You understand? It's crazy. So, this is what we're talking about. You understand? Puffy name has been in the gleaner for a very long time. And is now people coming out and really saying certain things. Like I say, it's only take, it only takes one person to say something. It only takes one person to say, yo, this nigga raped me. This nigga had me doing this. A one, just one female have to see that. And look that. Three women and one man. Puffy have been getting it done with multiple men. 
the last in, um, in, um, altercation was with Mick Mills, where they have a voice note going around right now. Allegedly, is Mick Mills and Puffy Voice getting it down? So this that's the next thing I'm saying. is like Puffy like his boys. He like his girls, but he like his boys more. So what is the big step? What, what is the big deal? Shouldn't he be protected by the LGBT, the LGBT uh, Federation? I don't know what's going on, bro. <laughs> that shit is crazy, bro. Let's continue, man. So uh, uh, we, we also, also were talking, talking about, about the whole legal ease that, 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 that goes, goes on about how this even... even... Yo, I want to shout out to everybody that logged in right now, man. Yo, I appreciate you guys over here, man. I appreciate you hanging out with me, definitely from the bottom of my heart, man. You know we do it. You know we do it already. Like I say tonight, we got holy things to talk about. We still got to touch Paula Llewellyn. We still got to touch down on Bunty Killer. We have to touch down on L.A. Lewis. We got things to talk about, so don't feel we reach nowhere as in a well-packed show we got, man. Please just give the video a thumbs up. I love you guys, man, straight up. But now, this, this isn't, isn't like somebody say, hey, I heard, you know, you know Sean's, Sean's got, got this, 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 or Mr. Mr. Diddy, Diddy or, or, or uh, Mr. Combs. Combs. You know, you know has, has got, got something going on, and they're, they're just like, hey, let's mount up a ride. There, there was a lot going, going on before this actually happened. happened. And, this and this is, is also a coordinated, coordinated raid. raid. There's, There's also, we understand that they raided his home in, in Miami, Miami as well. well. I, I have no, no idea what exactly they're, they're looking for. for. I'll, I'll be very, very honest about, about that. that. I didn't even know, know that there was legal issues going on with Sean Combs. And so I honestly... Don't, don't have, have any of those, those, those kind of components. components. All, All I can tell, tell you is right, right now, this is the Homey Hills, Hills area. area. Uh, uh, that's, that's his home that you see right there. And now, now it has a command post out front, and that command post belongs to Homeland Security. Uh, you, uh, you have a number, number of armored vehicles. vehicles. Most, Most of them belong to, uh, to Homeland Security. Got, got one there, a couple of them in the driveway as well. We did see one, I believe it was the sheriff's vehicle, that has since left the area. But, but there's still, still a number, number of that Homeland Security, security officers out there. And I'm talking about the soldiers. I'm talking about the boots on the ground type of guys that are still here. And I would venture to say probably in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 of them. And, and then you also have uh, younger guys, probably, uh, you know, would, would investigators. And, and then you also have some suits that arrive eventually. And they all made their way inside that home. That's, That's what's going, going on right, right now. Now, now that we, we have been, been talking, talking about this, this and I even feel, it, it, for, for me, it, it, it doesn't roll off my tongue at all to say, say that this is all about sex trafficking. trafficking. And, um, you, you know, know hear, hear that, that just what, what we need to kind of resolve any uh, but can't ever happen excuse me because sticking um this um this sticking is not my fault is these guys with your video all right we, we, uh, but definitely man we got we 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 get the whole basic about um uh, what's going on definitely with puffy and you know it's very crazy i ain't gonna tell no lie man it, it, it's crazy that shit is crazy with puffy you know what i mean but i know it was coming all the time it was coming it was coming a lot of persons was um definitely wondering why no action has been taken so long you understand and you know what I mean? Everybody was speculating and say, yo, but I have enough money and them something, they my money, man, and all them something. They but you know after a time, don't matter how much money you got. You understand? After a time, these people them is coming and forwarding from you. You understand? It's all about taking, or should we say, gathering information. So it's something like that. Gathering information, like I just showed you, the, um, just give you a rundown with the source. Um, definitely um explain it to us what's going on. You understand? Yes, you understand. Um Three women, one man have been in um interviewed by the federal official in matters in relationship of allegation of sex trafficking, sex assault, and 
disturbance of um allegation narcotics of firearm you understand all them something there has been filed so gone and all them something there so when you see that the whole SWAT team definitely went in for puff daddy you know so it's not no joke it's not no normal thing because these are the thing that he got firearm he got narcotics and all these things so you know these guys are definitely going to go for you with everything that's how they they, they feel that they're protecting their self also you understand they feel that they're protecting their self also so you know the code already people big up to everybody that is logged in like i said please give the video a thumbs up you understand please give the video a thumbs up as we continue you understand you know you know the thing go already over here so a few more minutes and then we continue with the show you see me yeah man Oh, that nobody internet, internet but i don't have to stay breath. breath well it looked like this video yes yeah, so mess up so definitely we got the picture with puff daddy so you know what what is it and everything up as you continue up in out of building you understand please give the video a thumbs up we got like 40 people up in here it's going up it's going down People are checking in. People are checking out. You know what I mean? But we still appreciate it. Um, we still appreciate everybody that is in the building, definitely. From the bottom of my heart, man, I ain't going to cap. Um, shout out to everybody that definitely taking their time out and checking. Piece by piece, one by one. You know the code already. We're going to continue with um, Paula Llewellyn. Now, they say Paula Llewellyn. Do you take any, face, um, face payments? You need, need a PO. Any accident? And you know what I mean? Allegedly, a lot of persons are seeing is LA Lewis. Now we saw the whole video when LA Lewis was in the cemetery um saying that Paula Llewellyn have um 24 hours before to let you know what I mean. Twenty-four hours before, she have twenty-four hour or you don't know what I go on. Should I let go the ghetto you them, the innocent you them, or vibes cartel, or life will be in danger. Now, Paula Llewellyn end up in an accident, and you know everybody starts speculating that is Ellie Lewis. So Ellie Lewis came out to clear himself, people. Yeah, man. So we're gonna jump into this video. Big up everybody in the building. We're gonna jump into this video that Ellie Lewis definitely came forward and clear himself about the whole allegation with Paula Llewellyn and her accident. You understand? Yeah, man. You know the code over the two of you. So big up everybody within the building. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. You know the code already, all right? Let's give me a minute. We are finding the live or the video that you, uh, you did. All right, I'm going to find it. I'm going to eat that feet, pick it at night. All right. Okay, this is Ellie Lewis. I know, sir. He say he must clear him name and all him something there. So let's jump into this right now. Ellie Lewis. All, all right, people. people. <laughs> all, right, all right, so, so um, you know what? The, the, the people, people that really can't can stop me, you know. All I, I am doing, people, I am just a messenger. messenger. No. no. Big, big up, um, Sherman, Sherman big, big up, up um, my friend from up, 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 up
Beverly for the rights. We got a lot of people from um, Beverly. We got a lot of people from Rosal. Um, no, no people. people. No. no. Them Them say Paul Paul and can crash um, to the, the people, that are the DPP. No, no people say I'm me, who be a Paul and Lewin, that can crash people. People, people I know, say I'm somebody people. people. No. no. I go at the ancestral graveyard people, I go to the ancestors and tell them to do people. No. no. Remember, Remember you know? The ancestors of them one DPP people. People are not sure about the cause of the idea. I don't want nobody to come tell a lie about me. Like I share the show people, comment. Yeah. No. The show of the people is to show us the ancestors that exist. No. I, I tell, tell Paul and Lewin, Sir, if she keep, keep up, up keep on continuing to keep up corruption, the, the ancestors are going to deal with her, not me. Nobody, Nobody can, can say that it's me personal, walk, anger. Right. Follow with Paul and Lewin. Him, him right, him right what I'm saying. He's definitely right with what he's saying. You understand? You understand? He, he, he does say what he say. You understand? Some people start to science work. Some people say science don't work. You understand? Some people believe in science. Some people don't believe in it. You understand? At the end of the day, science, when science I do, is not physical. It's spiritual. So even if that happened, and we saw what we saw with L.A. Lewis in the burial ground, when he was telling Paul Lewis straight, if we let go to get to use them or vibes cartel, it's just a word. You understand? So it, 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 we, we, we are living in a world whereby we're not fighting against flesh and blood alone, but spiritual thing in high places. So, you never know. But when you care. No, no, nobody, 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 nobody can, can say, say so give, give thanks to social media, media people. people. Give, give thanks to social media. No. no. Paula Paul Lewin was not yet. Remember, Paula? Paula? She, she is acting like she is a good woman. That the most high and young people. Remember, the ancestors of the woman and say, free of cartel and free of only by you who have said that prison is said to Paula Lewin. That the ancestors of them say to people. I, I am, am just a messenger that answers them that are to me. But me, the answers are the chat to me. No. Remember, Remember when, when me talked talk to Bob's Grange and Bob's Grange crash, crash, crash people? I didn't crash Bob's Grange crash people. I am just a messenger of people. No. no. People, I I I never crush your care, people. We say, Paula, if you keep up your bullshit, judgment, disgrace, everything you're going to be in the end of your journey. I never made me. I just pray them. I don't pray them, people, because no of the people stop believing in your love. No of the people stop walking at night. Well, I don't believe in your love. 
See, I understand. Ellen Lewis definitely clearing his name right now. Big up to everybody that just now check in. You don't know what going on. It's the Real Talk Reasoning Show. You know how we're doing it over here. So you know the code. You know the bangings over here. So we're going to play a few more of Ellen Lewis. And then we continue the show. Because, you know, so we have some more things to talk about. We still have to talk about um, about popcorn situation and all them something there. And, you know what I mean? Um, grand finale is all about TG. So... As we continue, you know, I mean, play a few more um, of this and then we continue with the show. Big up everybody that in the building. What do you guys think about L.A. Lewis and the um, alleged doing Guza Dung for the um, car getting crushed? I don't know if L.A. Lewis is a real Guza man. Never meet the man in person, but you know the thing go already, you understand? So, so fit them science, science man. But, but this is like the years, years of Moses and the people. people. And, and the years of Pharaoh. So, so Paul and Lua and Joe was a little fear and fear and Isha. So, so we said Paul and Lua and let two people have go. But, but you say, say oh, oh, every prayer that was there, keep up the blood like for me. Fifty five, 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 and the person that I want to teach the vaccine and the people. You know, it's a good thing about the vaccine. Start jogging on people. I'm going to tell you about it. Is that a good thing? Yeah, you know, you know, money is a good thing. You know, things are good. And I know what's going on. What is going on? More of what's going on. I'm not even here, but I want to know what's going on. So, so people. people. Yes, people. So, so the DPP can crush people. people. And, and the democracy, democracy say, I mean, we respond to it. Me, 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 Kemar, 
Yo, big up Ellie Lewis, you know anything already. Big up to you. But let me continue the ball game. Um, up in the sitting, we hear and we see. I, I, I was um on social media the other night, and you know what I mean, and I saw something I want to talk about. You understand? I know it says all about massacre getting fight down, you understand? And it's a very serious situation, you know what I mean? You know, two like them something there. And guess what I go on now? The man that get fight down from from I doing ya. We can't believe that blood clot. People, take a check here, sir. And see what I go on. Understand? Cause I don't know what I go on. Listen, I go on. I'm barely reading, but they must never mash up the laptop. Them things that. that. So, so if you know one build good reading, now more time, time, time him call Mr. Go up and him, him, him black to help the build reading. Read him. I'm I'm in a go, 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 i and, and someone, someone like, like here, here in the dark, dark. No, 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 no,
Massacre music on the block. Cha ja God. Uh, from me, I work with Massacre from me in high school, school you know, bro. bro. You get, you get me, I say? From my man, I want to hear me play a Massacre song, them then you hear about it, sir. How would them put it on them ears? To cock it. Not even know how you call it, bro. It's a lot of years when you hear we have play a Massacre song, them. Yes, see me? Alexa. As a matter of fact, play a Massacre. That is very crazy. That is crazy, bro. You understand? I'm not telling you a lie. That is, that is real crazy. You know that. You know that Massacre song I get fight. Massacre still I get fight down, dog. Real talk. Nah, man. I'm not too like that. That's not too nice. Big up everybody who checking on the panel. You know it thing already, you know. Thanks for checking in on the channel. You know the code. You understand? Yeah, man. Don't know what I go on, man. Peace and love. You out to your son till next time.